Good afternoon, I'm Eric Zalewski, and we are going to do a little demo of Deviant, the Renegades, uh, which is currently kickstarting and uh, going through strip tools. Uh, we're kind of in the middle of things, uh, so right in the middle of the campaign. So it's a little slow this weekend, um, but we wanted to give you a, a taste of uh, the way the game <laughs> runs. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> it's, never, it's never just one. <laughs> Okay, so just to kind of get a background of uh, how we gather together, um, the uh, one of the characters, Yamanaka, uh, is um, has an amalgam uh, who is also a progenitor named uh, Daigo, who has identified a um, event that uh, several of your conviction touchstones will be at, and he is gathering you together to help him knock that over. So that's the, uh, the basic setup. Now, each of you currently is in a different location, um, somewhere else in the United States. You need to ultimately get to uh, Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, the first stop, though, is Minneapolis. So before we get started, um, or before we get into the, into the meat of things, just uh, briefly tell me, uh, how are you getting from where you, where are you now? And tell me, how are you getting to where you're going? We'll start with Frankie. And I suppose also uh, Alicia should be involved in that too, since you're in the same place. So, Excellent. What do you think, Alicia? Where we would be right now? How, how to get there. Oh. Um... <clears throat> That's an excellent question. Uh, do you have a bucket or maybe a uh, wine skin or a, a um, something along those lines you can stuff me in? Maybe a thermos? <laughs> could probably find one. Uh, with my luck, though, I'm going to recommend we uh, take a bus or something. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think I can probably, uh, no, quick question in terms of duration of my ability to, um, borrow a more, a less panic inducing form from folk. How long does that typically last when I use that? It lasts the, uh, the duration of a scene. I would okay. probably be talking about a couple hours in a, in a non-action scene. Um, probably not an entire bus trip, but, um, yeah. Can you maybe can now yeah, get, get some sort of, get a duffel bag, just get a duffel bag. I'll ride in the bottom. It'll be fine. Uh, it's a minor inconvenience, I suppose, but you know, it beats, you know, freaking out everybody on the bus when I melt, you know? Yeah, that's that's fair. So yeah, I guess uh, uh, just toss bang them. bang loudly if something goes wrong. That sounds fair. Yeah, just make sure there's like an iPod in there or something, All right? Because it's going to be a long trip, and I don't want to just be like sloshing around the luggage compartment with nothing to keep me company. So you know, I think that's All right. probably fair. Saves us a bus so, ticket. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> And also aforementioned screaming. <laughs> All right. Uh, Yamanaka. Yes. Rachel. Yes. So I figure Yamanaka is probably somewhere on the West Coast. Sounds reasonable. And I think she's probably going to enjoy hitchhiking. Okay, that uh, <laughs> you're equipped for that, aren't you? <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Well, with your with your manipulation six and <laughs> your uh, <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I think you'll get there. Okay. All right. Um, and then finally, Alpha. How are you getting to Minneapolis? Where are you at, and where? Are you, how do you get to Minneapolis?
Hmm. Uh, not calling for help yet, but oh well. Okay, for the moment, I'm going to assume that he was in oh I don't know the woods of South Dakota, and coming out of those <laughs> with with Beta, his um, service animal slash killer wolf. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, and the meeting place is a just a little bus shelter um, along Nicolette Mall, which is a pedestrian mall in the center of uh, the Twin City of, of Minneapolis. Um, we, in, we're in early October, so the weather's cool, but not really cold. Um, so people are out and about. It's getting in the evening. Um, sun is going down, but it hasn't set yet when you reach this destination. Um, and why don't you introduce yourselves and uh, give a little description of yourself and I guess maybe your shtick if you, depending how secretive you are going to be about that. Uh, so Yamanaka is Japanese American. So she's probably medium height, uh, relatively slender. She's still young. Uh, at times, she looks like she's distracted, like she's listening to something only she can hear, uh, and then comes up with some brilliant insight that's probably not her own. Uh, so Frankie is kind of a wry middle-aged gentleman. Uh, he doesn't have anything overtly supernatural about him, but he's still kind of a intense person to look at. Got the white hair though. Yeah, stark white hair. So do we know each other already? You have, you have interacted with each other online. Um, okay. Enough to know that you have, uh, you have shared enemies. Okay. Hey Drew, welcome back. You Hi just guys. came out of the woods of South Dakota with your wolf, and you're now oh. in the bus shelter in <laughs> uh, in the center of Minneapolis. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had mentioned in chat what I was doing, but that's fine. Oh, did you? Oh, I did not. I'm still learning this, so. No, no worries. Um, while you're looking at that, Eric, just to describe every, to everyone uh, my character um, playing Alicia and Alicia presently a purple puddle inside of a champion bag i assume those are relatively inexpensive to acquire mm -hmm. like you know you stopped at kmart or something so currently she looks about the size and shape of the inside of a champion uh duffel bag so yamanaka will say uh hello to everybody and uh we only encountered one serial killer on the way here Oh, that's good. I would have encountered three. I'm jealous. <laughs> On a bus, no less. <laughs> <laughs> I take it we're doing descriptions then? Yeah, a little bit of that. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, Alpha, um, Al Alpha is a very girl next door, blonde, blue eyed. You know, five foot ten. Well, five foot ten. So she's a little bit taller than average, but um, white girl, and she's just sweet as can be. And she has a very, very large surface dog with a little surface vest. She's smiling and happy, and just happy to get along with everybody. And everybody gets along with her. <laughs> Funny how that works. Even the serial killers. Yep, especially them, I think. Especially. Okay, I guess that's, I think that's true when you, yep. you are kind of like playing literal murder hobos in this game, so. <laughs> right. Um, all right, I'm going to do a very brief little bit with uh, some stuff that hasn't been spoiled yet in terms of rules, but we're talking about the surveillance rule. Uh, we are at the beginning of a story, so the Conspiracy has a significant penalty to the role because you haven't had a chance to activate your overt variations yet. Uh, but you are in its range. Um, open up. Uh, 
Oh, there it is. Okay. I already had it open. So. Um, Okay, so um, Rachel, uh, Daiko is in your ear. Uh, we should find a place that's not in the public to do this. And just as, you, as he says that in your ear, um, some little girl comes up with his, her mom and you know asks whether he, she can pet the doggy. She's about four. Uh, so everyone will hear Yamanaka say, you're right. And then she'll turn to the girl and in like the bitchiest tone possible say, he's working, sweetie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the girl surprisingly is not upset by this and just sort of trots away. Um, we anyway. should find somewhere more secluded and without all the children. Mm -hmm. I think Alicia would appreciate open space. Well, I heard my name and uh, what's going on? Is everything all right? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to ask about the bag. <laughs> so, anyway. The voice coming from the bag. Yes, coming... the duffel can come too. <laughs> And Buffalo has his name is Alicia. Can we, let's just go. Now. Go now. What what type of plate location are you going to? Uh, probably. Let's see. A diner is probably still too public. So we can get a motel room. Okay. Um, how are we paying for this? Or how are we getting in? Well, I have no resources, so someone else can cover that. Uh, I had to pay for the bus ticket. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hang on, quick, 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 quick check because I didn't look at your guys' character sheets. How old are, is everybody else? I think I'm the youngest. Uh, I think Yamanaka yep. is about college age. I think I'm the oldest. Okay. Uh, well, Alpha is going to look at the indecision of this group and go, all right, fine. And like, she doesn't say anything. She's going to lead the way down the street and find the first... Uh -oh. oh no, right on the cliffhanger. <laughs> I assume cheap motel. Yep, cheap motel. Uh, and uh, the best part is when my internet craps out, I can still hear you guys for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but yes, storming off to a, to a cheap motel, uh, absolutely giving no look back because you all are going to follow because that's what everybody does. Uh, <laughs> and she's going to, you know, basically make her way to, um, you know, the uh, cheap motel um, and, you know, go smile and talk with the clerk um, and chit chat for a little bit. Uh, d chit chat, depending on what the clerk looks like. Okay. Well, um, there is not really a whole lot of cheap hotels in downtown Minneapolis. Um, sure. They they run pretty pretty good on the spendy side. I know having stayed at one for a convention, uh, but um, you find the, the least expensive that's down there. And sure. uh, there is a little bit of an issue with like, does anybody have a credit card? No one has it. I know no one has resources. These are all these things that we take for granted in World of Darkness games in general, and it's just not really that I'm not aware convenient. Of, what's the chances yeah. I could have rifled through people's luggage while I was rolling around in the bottom of the bus? <laughs> Having foreseen the possibility that I might have needed uh, 
either a credit card or whatever loose change would have stuck to me while I was slithering <laughs> Whatever loose change. <laughs> All right, one second. I feel I feel like Frankie probably unintentionally wipes any credit card he's got out his per- person eventually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Maybe. Uh. Let's call it uh, wits plus larceny. Uh. Sure. I can do that. And we are looking for eights, right? Eights and higher, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, That would be one, which was a 10. Do I get 10 again? If you, 10s are uh, are re-rolls. They're they're exploding dice. So that's two. Okay. All right, You, you do manage to have a credit card you may have to make something up about why you don't have any id to show with it um i I just (laughs) unzip the bag from the inside and send out just a little pseudopod that's like holding a (laughs) somewhat moist and sticky card (laughs) for for attempt to discreetly pass this on to uh, alpha (laughs) okay (laughs) Yep. Uh, alpha is not old enough to have a credit card, but Alpha is Alpha, so... Uh... <laughs> As, alpha, alpha is 17. She can pass for 18 just fine. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh... I am, I am going to hold on to it just hard enough that it sort of makes a... <laughs> good sound when it comes loose. All right. So uh, just, to, just to clarify for our audience members, you don't have access to our character sheet. Um, uh, Alpha, do you want to explain what exactly is your your path? Where where these capabilities are coming from? Oh yeah, absolutely yeah. Um, so um, Alpha is uh, well, we're not going to talk about her backstory just yet because maybe that'll be interesting later. But uh, yeah, she is a genotypal uh, chimeric. Uh, so basically, she was bred to be more badass than everybody else here, um, and uh, so she has a super schnoz. And she makes amazing pheromones. Um, and people just like her. After just a little chat with her, just people just get in line. Yeah, mechanically speaking, she effectively has a status in whatever organization her audience most wants to impress. So. Yep. Opens up doors pretty easily. <laughs> and and gets, gets you into a lot of trouble, depending if the person you're trying to... Uh, Influence is supernatural, and they think you're from the local concilium. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, mage things. Uh, but yeah. So no, no, I think about these things, obviously. But yes, yeah, probably not this scenario. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, uh, um, Alpha. Um, who, by the way, everybody else can call Al if if Alpha makes you feel uncomfortable and you're not okay in your hierarchy in the world. You can just call her out <laughs> um but yeah she walks up to the um walks up to the the clerk and slides and says um i need uh two sweets um and uh for well yeah three uh for three people three beds or no four beds um, yes ma'am and you know it has to do some bureaucratic silliness to try to actually get it to process because he doesn't have a he doesn't have a driver's license and you know um that's the system is going to want that uh but you know ultimately figures out how to circumvent his uh hotel's security system not security but like the protocols right and gets you a couple rooms thank you i knew you could do that just fine thank you uh and then wander and takes the two key cards and walks uh if they want uh you know rooms they are going to have to follow alpha uh, all right and hey, so we get a room <laughs> almost um so we'll hand off the one key card uh to uh uh yamanaka and said this is for uh for uh you um, and then um, points at Frankie and the bag and says, 
you guys need to decide what room you're sharing in. I've got one bed. Beta has the other bed in my room. So, and then just goes into. I don't need a bed. That's room. fine. All you gotta do is put a stopper in the sink, and I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> a bed actually might be almost more complicated. <laughs> right. And just then, close the tub. Well, yeah, I was just say we'll use the tub. Let's let's give you a little <laughs> little room to spread out a little bit. Oh, but, thanks. This, I didn't realize I mean, you were a five experience here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah with that uh, I guess Alpha will grab the duffel bag <laughs> and take that in alright whose room okay. are we meeting in mine is it who has right, obviously <laughs> As soon as we're Cephalus, you ask a lot of obvious questions. <laughs> as as soon as we're in the room, I'm going to unzip and like stretch out and take up as much floor as I can, and just kind of like, you know, let the occasional pseudopod pop up and just oh. Yamanaka's yeah, like, just. I have such a crick in the uh, puddle. Uh, Yamanaka will watch, and uh, she'll say, "I I knew I wasn't going to enjoy when that happened." Well, get used to it. You think it's unpleasant for you? I don't want to get used to it. Would you like to be a puddle with a cricket? It's puddle. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just uh, speaking of Yamanaka. Sit. Dodo is getting insistent again. Hey, hey, hey! We need to talk. I need to explain things to them. We need to explain how this is going down. All right. The voice in my head wants to brief you all. Oh, you could do it telepathically. That would be easiest. If, if, everyone's, if everyone's comfortable with that, of course. Make sure they are. I mean, make sure they are. If, if necessary. I mean, we don't want to... You, 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 you know your business, I think. Maybe. Just, you, just do it. You really want me to be in psychic contact with that? Well, you've... Did you point at me and say that out loud? Looks aren't everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to sort of like puff up a little bit and kind of like get, get as tall as I can. There's nothing wrong with contacting me. It's not like I'm contagious. You're not going to catch it or something. Probably. All right. I mean, we're, we're fairly certain. We're, we're I, certain, right? I, I can, to my knowledge, to my knowledge, you're not contagious. Or he's the, the the puddle is not contagious. I, I mean, assume the research is limited on the topic, but I, I know a little bit, maybe, possibly. I, I assume no Bloody. one else has a problem with psychic contact. It's I harder to overhear. I mean, I'm sorry. It's harder to overhear. I mean, not impossible theoretically, but I mean, I've well, never well, encountered. Well, do do the psychic thing. Let's just. I like, solemnly swear not to go looking for your secrets. Probably for the best. So wait, you can like contact our brains? Yes, I'm a psychic. That's fancy. Well, cephalus is the fancy term. Well, that's nice for you. I'm thrilled that you got psychic powers <laughs> drip <laughs> yeah yeah yamanaka is just looking like did i just get told by a squid thing <laughs> so yeah if you want to dig around in my brain go for it or you know what i'm saying like go ahead <laughs> you're fine uh, all right, so Yamanaka will initiate psychic contact using uh, hive mind. Is anyone going to resist this? Nope. All right. And let me see what there is for. Okay, yeah, that's just the, all right. That's not a big deal. 
All, All right, right. So, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna force rolls on this because you can stay in this hotel long room long enough to get it right. Um, so, uh, once we make contact, you will all hear uh, Yamanaka's voice. Uh, Diego, meet everyone. Everyone, meet Diego. Hi. All right. So, I'm sure you're wondering why I brought you all here together. Uh, now that you mention it, it's a little yeah. Okay. Curious. All right, so there is there are several conspiracies that are sending representatives to a consortium or a, a symposium in uh, in Duluth for a what they call the uh, the first annual new progenitor symposium, uh, which is to kind of celebrate uh, progenitors who've made their first deviant in the last year and to give them an opportunity to share their methodology and results and meet other progenitors with, uh, with higher contacts. Um, they're having a convention? Yeah, they're having a little convention. Great. Like, yeah. I hate it already. Yeah, that's, so do I. That's why I brought you all here today. Um, among those on the invitee list, and this is the reason that I brought you together, are Dr. Brian Davis of Ben Franklin High Energy Labs. Guys, uh, Dr. Stephen Summer of the Manifest Destiny Society. And Dr. Stephen Strock of the Transhuman Institute. Dr. Summer and Dr. Strock claim that they're going to be unveiling a new serum that can trigger the divergence, but does not permit the rage that is observed in so much as you. Okay. Do you, uh, just out, out of character here, um, if you look at your conviction touchstones, you'll find all of these folks on your list. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, there's also a little cheat sheet explaining who they are and what, they, what their role is in your history. So, just for my own understanding, What's my relationship? I'm assuming that I would like to get my face back um, and that this uh, Dr. Strock was responsible for uh, ruining it. So I assume mm -hmm. that, that that relationship is somewhat adversarial. Is that fair to say? Yes. Yeah. If, you're, if it's a conviction touchstone, it's someone, it is them whom you want to destroy. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think I've heard everything I need to hear. Um, what's how do we get inside? Ah, but there's more. There's more. Oh, okay. While this clearly presents a marvelous opportunity to punish those who wronged you, that's thinking too small. The symposium represents an attempt to strengthen the bonds of fraternity between members of various conspiracies, an alliance that will give them more power to pursue the renegades and create more broken. The best result would be for the symposium to be a disaster that ends in recriminations and bad blood so there is no second annual New Progenitor Symposium. It would also be best if the work of Summer and Stock be discredited <clears throat> so that they are never taken seriously again and their line of work is never pursued. Well, we're pretty good at disasters at least. I can do disaster. Good, good. Just to cut it real quick, do because uh, I was out. Um, is there a specific one of my touchstones that are here that we mentioned or know of? Uh, let's see, Stephen Summer, uh, Stephen Strock. Yeah, it's, see, Stephen Summer was uh, on your list. I'll double check that. Get Summer and Strock backwards, or not backwards, because they have the same first name. Um, yeah, Stephen Summer is your progenitor. Okay, right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I hear what you're saying, but I'm also wondering if crawling down Dr. Strock's throat and ripping him open from the inside out wouldn't get the same job done. Just, just throwing that, that out, disaster. Just throwing <laughs> that out there on the table as 
is an option that we might want to consider. That is a strategy. I mean, I'm in favor of replacing the water in the sprinkler system with gasoline. <laughs> That's something we could do too. Like, I mean, you could just set off the sprinkler system. I can work with that. Oh, yeah, I suppose you could. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm liking this plan more and more. Um, because I'm a little torn. Because this also sounds like the largest collection of people that might be able to fix me. They're not going to. Well, you know, I can be very persuasive and, and she's persuasive. I sort of form a rudimentary thumb and point over to Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, how about this? You pick the person that you think is most likely to be able to fix you. We'll make sure to save that person and then do the whole you owe us afterwards. I mean, that's fair. Do I have any concept whatsoever, Eric, of who that might be? <laughs> oh, no, not really. I mean, <laughs> it's like you don't have the science behind what was done to you. Right. Yeah. I mean, I would assume the person that busted me would be the person that would be the best equipped, but um, I don't know that they're going to be amicable to that even if we save their life that we imperil. I mean, I'm all for torturing him and trying. I mean, there's no need for torture. Need? Maybe not. No, no. Uh, that, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 have, have your catharsis. Have your catharsis, absolutely. But when, when you're ready for a little pressure, just leave them in the room with me and Beta and they'll come to heal. Well, okay, so unless anybody has any objection to that, I say, yeah, we, um, I think kicking off the sprinkler and having Frankie uh, go to Hollywood on the place and then um, dragging Strack out and making him undo what he did, I think is a great plan. I'm all 100% on board for that plan. Yeah, right. So then all we need to do is just, do, do we know where they actually are meeting? You know the, that it's going to be the University of Minnesota Duluth, but you may need to do, I don't know, a little rough research, nothing too fancy. Okay. So, but we- Does next... anyone have a cell phone? These are all loaded questions in this game, as we know. Right. <laughs> um, I have an iPod. <laughs> um oh so you you bring up the ipod and that makes yamanaka think of something uh and she will say out loud is there a concert going on this weekend like something really poppy like taylor swift in minneapolis yes there's always something going on on the weekends in minneapolis yeah, I was going to say that place has quite the music scene, so there's probably somebody going on. Yeah. I need to buy some tickets and have them sent to someone. Interesting. Well, well um... So my sister is studying at the University of Minnesota, and if we're doing this on campus, I want her off campus. Ah, uh, that's fair. So what I want is just an idea of where this is taking place so we can figure out how to make the best deaf room. Yeah, do we have like a Google, can we, I mean, we can't like Google it. Uh, Go borrow somebody's phone. There's a library. I mean, it's not open now, but it'll be open tomorrow. Oh yeah, public library. Yeah, that's true. Oh yes, there's a downtown public library. Yep. I mean, open is optional. Do they have like a business center here? That's true. We are oh. at a hotel. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's just go. Oh, that's true, too. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking that. (laughs) Maybe not let's just go down there, but like, you know, maybe one of you could go down there and uh, bing and figure out where it's going to be. I don't, I've decided I'm not going to use the word Google anymore because it's um, hurtful. Uh, I might break it. So Never mind. Else. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if we can't laugh, we're going to cry. And and, and <laughs> I, I dry out real easy. Can you get me a glass of water? <laughs> you know, run, run the tap. I'm going to just sort of crawl right. into the sink and <laughs> I take refuge in bitterness, but you do you. So, um, oh, that's why. Never mind. I'm looking at the wrong character sheet. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Alpha can totally go Google some uh, some stuff and see if she can track down. Especially, I mean, a symposium with this many doctors. Like, the university is going to be promoting this thing more mm-hmm. than likely. So, yeah, yeah. I'll head downstairs with with Beta and go abs- uh, not abscond uh go take over a computer and just all right do some do some google searching all right uh, uh let's do get us a intelligence plus investigation okay so that'll be a chance to die uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a very confident chance to die right yeah no i'm good okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I, well, I, I, I think very specifically, I, I might spend some time and be like, oh, right. Um, Alpha has not done anything with technology basically ever because I live <laughs> effectively. And I'm going to turn to the nice little, you know, business guy who's sitting next to me and go, can you help me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess we're turning this into a, into a manipulation plus <laughs> investigation. <laughs> okay, um, I can I can roll that too, but it's also still a chance. To oh my die. gosh! Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna uh, deal deal with stuff here. Sure. Um, all right, you're able to at least identify where the event is ha- taking place. You know the which specific uh, theater and so forth. It's a week from today, so it'll be on a uh, on a Friday. Uh, Friday night um, is when there's just sort of a little cocktail hour, and then the next day is the full experience of it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I, th- I think the <laughs> I, I think whoever probably had to help me uh, then make my way back upstairs and going, mm-hmm. I am so glad the others did not come down to see that. Oh, so, all right. All right. I, I was going to say that Yamanaka did go to the business center. Because she wants to send her sister an email saying, if you were thinking of going to this thing, don't. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, she's actually not just supposed to be at it, but like she's part of one of the presentations. (sighs) That's not good. So then we. Uh, what happens when you get? That's what happens when you, you, you major in genetics in a, in the world of darkness, chronicles of darkness. Yeah. So, <laughs> is you might you might be called upon to help inject serum into some innocent person. Uh, so when we regather, uh, and Yamanaka totally did not uh, witness Alpha because she was too wrapped up in her own things. Thank you. I appreciate uh, that. Yes. <laughs> Uh, be like, all right, we we have a problem because my sister is presenting on Saturday, so we need to hit them on Friday. But they won't. Okay. Uh, will they all be there on Friday? Like, oh, she might be there to <coughs> network. Well, quite likely. What about this? Like, I can. Um. If we can't persuade your sister to not go, we could waylay her, and then I could go in her stead, and then 
uh, I, I see the way you're all looking at me. No, like it's a thing I can do. I swear. Um, <laughs> like I can make myself look like her and then I can go in her stead and then I'll be right there. Uh, be able to get my eyes on Dr. Shitbird. What was his name? Dr. Strock. And <laughs> grab him. And then we can do the, you know, light my fire for the whole place. There, and we've got what building this is taking place. I, I will warn you that it probably will not be as simple as just charging in there with power powers blazing. They will have security. Sure, which was why I say like if if I which which was why I'm suggesting if I weigh, if I waylay the sister, she's not there. I can get us in the door, and then we do whatever miscreant shit we're gonna do. Right, so. Not my favorite. We can, we can check out the building first, and hopefully. I mean, I'm I'm open to other suggestions. If you don't want me to like club your sister over the head and take her face, that's fine. I, I mean, uh, it's not. <laughs> it's not my favorite strategy, but as long as it keeps her safe, I'm willing to inflict a little bit of trauma. <laughs> Um, quick clarification, as I'm not 100% familiar with the powers, um, I don't actually need to even directly interact with her to take her appearance, correct? I just need to see. No, you just have to, she has to be the last person you see before you take your transformation. Right. So I don't have to like actually like rip parts off of her or anything along those lines. So we don't have to damage her. That's good. No, no, you don't. Just have to, you just have to kidnap her. Or otherwise convince her to not show up. Right. I mean, I, I'm for kidnapping because it's a lot easier to convince somebody that they're being kidnapped than it is to <laughs> convince them not to go to this thing that's like central to their, you know, field of study. But, you know, you do you, boo. <laughs> All right. And then with her out of the way and Dr. Shit something in your grasp, we can lock the doors off the sprinklers and have a free wiring accident. I like this plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. <laughs> I mean, it's more complicated than that because I haven't seen the building yet, but I, I'm sure we can work something out to just ruin everyone's day. Yeah, I mean... Alpha, you're good at talking people into stuff, right? Alpha's not here. Uh, she's pretty persuasive. Well, maybe she can talk your sister into not doing this or convince her that her services are needed elsewhere. There's some sort of an emergency. I don't know. Um, Something. All right. Complete out of left field idea. Have you tried telling her the truth? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that seems extreme, doesn't don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> the alternative is clubbing her over the head, so we're already past polite conversation so by the way absolute shitstorm you're a part of is not well i mean i don't know what your family dynamic is i'm just saying like you know that seems like a much more complicated well, situation it, i'm trying to think of what what would be serious enough for a sister to drop everything and by the way, I'm psychic seems. I mean, I could kill my mom. I mean, if you're cool with that, <laughs> no, that no. seems easier. <laughs> is that like, is that something we can do in the next week? I don't know your favorite <laughs> dynamic. <laughs> I mean, I've been looking for an excuse. <laughs> I mean, I mean but 
it's fair, I guess. <laughs> the, uh, the 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 uh, hotel room phone rings. I uh, due to my Midwestern upbringing, I reach over and grab it. Hello. Yes, is this uh, is this Lucy Blaine? That's the name of the person whose credit card you swiped. Lucy Lane? Blaine. Blaine with a B. Yes. Um, You're in this hotel Is she in this hotel room? Uh, she stepped out for the moment, but uh, I, I'm certain I can take a message. Uh, yeah, could you could you let her know there's been an issue? It looks like her credit card's been stopped. Oh. Um, so we need to have her come down here and uh, and settle out. Make sure we've got a, a good credit card on file. These mix-ups happen sometimes, but sure, absolutely, no problem. Happy to do so. Just as soon as she gets back from getting the ice. Okay. Click. All right, so we've been made. <laughs> then, what what's going down? Um, the credit card got reported lost or stolen. Probably that would be my assumption. So and what would they just try and bork their entire system so no one's credit card's working? I mean, that seems that seem that, that might fix the temporary problem, but aren't they eventually going to like we're talking a week, right? I mean, we don't have to stay here for a week. I'm just saying if we got to run anyway, um, maybe we should just get to running. Mm, that's fair. Is your mom's place nearby? Like, I realize you were just talking about killing her, but is that like um, a long drive or whatever? Fairly long. Oh. Well, that's not helpful. Your sisters? I mean, if we're kidnapping her anyway. <laughs> you might as well settle into her into her dorm room first, or, or I guess probably is in a dorm. She's a she'd be a graduate, but yeah, we could just home invade her. <laughs> I could tell her I'm in town and ask to meet for coffee. Hey, I'm in town. You want to meet for coffee? Oh, here's my friend, the electrokinetic, my other weird friend with her service animal and the puddle that I'm traveling with. Yeah, sounds like a <laughs> great plan. I mean. <laughs> If you tell her the truth, maybe you can just get her on board. Maybe she could even help, you know. Yeah, like how into the family business is your sister? You know, we haven't talked much since I changed. I just know that she's studying genetics here. I mean, maybe she knows a good person to help Alicia or how to discredit whatever it is they're doing. Or maybe she's like part of their whole thing. Like, it, we, In which case, we should definitely get that her. At least. I don't think she'd do that. <laughs> but yeah, we should. We'll try telling her the truth. Awesome. That's going to be a great plan. Cool. I foresee no way this could go wrong. <laughs> I'm lying. I'm lying. I will probably be prepared to, I don't know, see whatever whatever nearby is most volatile. If things go south, just throw me at her face. Okay. Octopus cannon away. Might, might as well get some use out of it. Yeah. All right, so try and kill the lights. You do your slime thing, and we have a kidnapped sister. I'm sorry, I missed some of that. I can try and kill the lights. You can do your slime thing, and then we have a kidnapped sister. Okay. I mean, that uh, is an option. Let's see here. I guess it depends where you meet her. And when. Yeah, all right. So I will all 
contact my sister and tell her like, hey, I happen to be in town. We should meet up. Just just as a heads up, um, Minneapolis and Duluth are about four hours away from each other. And she's at Duluth. Or, uh, I'm pretty sure of that. Let me just double check the character list. I'm pretty sure she's in Duluth. So the idea being she would be coming into town for this thing. Yeah, she'd have to come into town. I mean, which is which isn't the end of the world. Just uh, clarification. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't. I was very vague about which university Minnesota. Yes, she's she is in Duluth. Okay, but I'll still let her know. Like, hey, I'm in your state. We should meet up at some point. Maybe you should uh, come here a day early so we can hang out. Right. Um, then, just to be clear what you mean by a day earlier you're talking about like on thursday or yeah thursday okay well, i'm going to be really very busy on thursday getting prepared for the symposium but how about wednesday that works fantastic okay We can pick a specific place to hang out when we when I get in town. See what we're up for. Lots of choices. Pick somewhere isolated with poor lighting. Right. I'll yeah. get on Yelp later. <laughs> Where is a good place to do a kidnapping? <laughs> yeah, Yelp Yelp needs that filter. End up on the list. I mean they already uh, tell you which ones have pokey stops. I got kidnapped here, three out of five stars. <laughs> yeah, Minneapolis actually has a, a bar called the Donny uh, Donny Dirk's Zombie Den, which is a zombie themed uh, restaurant in North Minneapolis. Got a we've got kind of a, a our fair share of weird places to go, but that, that'd be sounds like a good place to grab somebody. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, while you were uh, taking a powder. The front desk called and said that the credit card was not able to be processed. I'm assuming that meant reported stolen. So we should probably do something about that. So can you look like the person whose card it is? If I could see them? And had any idea whatsoever who they were? Yes. Uh, um, neither of those things are the case because I stole that out of a piece of luggage. I mean, you're the one with the mind powers. When somebody shows up to talk to us, can you just make that not a problem anymore? Well, I can cause them... Well. I can cause some incredible pain, uh, or I could cause them to sleep. Oh no, not sleep. Uh, get them psychically stoned. You can get people. Neither of these. Stoned. Neither of these seem like they would help. So, <laughs> um, it's no. good to know, mind you, but not sure. in this instance. Right. Great, great for just normal stress relief and coping mechanisms, though I would say. Like, I mean, really, yeah. Um, I mean, getting them stoned might help if you really just need that thing to push you over the edge. If, but they called the police. Uh, I'm sure eventually. Because so I'm really good at talking to the police. So is are, are you suggesting we wait for them to call the police? I, I mean, if you I, need I the police, we can arrange it. <laughs> right? No, no, no. I'm suggesting that it is a possibility that we could perhaps wait for the police to be called, have them come in. I talk with them, and they understand that, ah, sorry, something is going on here. The department will take care of it, maybe. Right. Usually I just... You know, do it to get my dog through places, but... Well, I mean, this could just be the uh, perpetual state of inconvenience that I exist in talking 
but um, maybe our best bet's just to go find like a bridge to crash under for a couple days. I mean, I might end up doing that anyway, just because this is a findable place. That's true. I mean, we've been I mean, here for an hour, and now all of a sudden we've got, you know, difficulties. I mean, I'm not all too picky, and the beta will eat anything, so, I mean, I can scrounge. That is also good to know. Please don't let your dog, like, try to drink me. No. <laughs> Beta still prefers Although, dog food, but... Although, if the dog tried, no. we, could, we could film that and sell it on the dark web, and then our money problems are solved. I <laughs> want to get our rule against is there like to exploit a, ourselves on the dark web. Is there a, like, <laughs> dog eats loogie submarket on the dark, dark web that I'm not aware of? There is now. You just mentioned it. <laughs> Rule 34, guys. <Yeah. laughs> I don't know that that qualifies, but yeah. Um, I'm just saying, but... you know, somewhere under a bridge might not be a bad uh, plan. You know, get out of here before we have any undue entanglements. And if these guys are doing a symposium here in a week, wouldn't it stand to reason they're probably watching things a little bit more closely than they might normally be? Yeah, we would hate to do anything weird uh, <laughs> and and tip them off early. Um, so, I mean, I, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm if, if we're good, if we can determine a meetup point or actually how far does this brain talky thing uh, travel and and how long does it last? Because... I mean, at this point, we don't need to stand in a hotel room and have this conversation, potentially. Oh, that's also a good point. Now, this makes things way easier, actually. Oh, yeah. We've, we're like, yeah, is there like a limit on this? Are we going to get like real fuzzy connection if we get too far away? Get every like third word? Does it oh, work nice. through a bag? Once it's established, Ooh, that's important. <laughs> it, it, it maintains until the end of the scene. It's not going to last for super long. Um, I'm trying to remember, do you have the... Oh, let me look at the version you have. That's not the character I'm supposed to be looking at. Okay. Yeah, it's it works. Um, as you establish it close, it lasts for an hour or so. Um, but yes, it will eventually degrade and break off. It won't, it won't last uh, forever or for days, certainly. Gotcha. So we'll so, have to arrange a meetup or something like that if we all go separate ways. I, I know you two, pointing at Frankie and Alicia, are probably going to stick together because that's what you do, but... I carry the bag. It's right. a little, which I appreciate. <laughs> I don't know if I tell you that enough. I really am thankful that you uh, that you helped me get around. It's means a lot. With all this talk of kidnapping people's siblings, I'm feeling a little bit sentimental, I guess. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll take that as a, the best compliment I can. Okay, so. How about where we met up when we arrived in town? Meet again in... I don't have a watch. Well, I think that our first step before we split up should be to... Where are they meeting? The convention center? They're going to be meeting at one of the... Um... Uh, one of the theater, like the uh, lecture hall. Yeah, basically, uh, not even a lecture hall, but uh, something, one of their larger spaces. Um, Want to make sure there's plenty of seats between the stage and the audience, actually, you know, when you're doing science. 
things sure. happen. Yeah. Uh, we should definitely like case it. Yeah, I'm gonna want to do that just to check out the electrical systems. Yeah. If they have electric locks, that makes my life a lot easier. Yeah, casing yeah. instrument would be a good idea. So we should probably clear out before they come asking about the credit card again. So at this point, are we just looking for a ride to the campus? Yeah, I mean, or hoofing it. How far away is it? It's four hour drive. Oh, or if you're talking about, or are you talking about getting to Duluth? So whichever one we got to well, get to. Uh, wherever they're having the symposium, we want mm -hmm. to go to that building and check it out. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's about a four hour drive away. Oh, okay. Well, so we need, a, here. we need to creatively borrow some transportation. <laughs> well, our one credit card's a bust. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess we could boost a car. No, that that wouldn't be hard, actually. Especially if you can get one with an electronic system that easy for, or an ignition system. <laughs> yeah, so like uh, no 67 Impalas or anything like that. Let's grab something like a Prius. It is now fully dark, um, and you're in a room with lights, and a shot rings out from outside. Uh, Yamanaka goes to the window. Uh, no, well, yeah, that's you're, you're the target. Sorry, <laughs> I should have made that clear. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, second. In that case, she goes away from the window rapidly. <laughs> yes. yes, away from the window. I thought someone was getting shot in the parking lot. Right. Nope. <laughs> Whether it be under no, her I, own I, power or the... Or the <laughs> oh, wrong person. There we are. Helps if I had the right character sheet right before. Right. Take six lethal. Yikes. Ow. Yeah. I'm sorry? Take six lethal. Me? Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. It's uh, not a, um, you get the sense, and, and Daigo's freaking out like, like crazy, because uh, that was, he's like, that was not, if that was a sniper of any competence, that was intentional. This is this isn't this isn't to that wasn't meant to kill you. Are we still are we getting that communication or no? Yes, because you're still linked telepathically. But I would suggest the rest of you get away from the window. Everyone book it. Uh, well, no, no, no. hang on. Yeah, we we can get out of the the hotel momentarily. Hang on, everybody, calm down. And like Alpha is behind Beta and like coaxes Beta over. It's like. Are you allergic to dogs? Me? No. Yes. No? Good. Beta, kisses, please. And yes, doggo kisses for the win. I don't, I, I'm looking, I don't see a roll here I need to make, Eric. Double check for <laughs> You're me. You're all right. Give me one second. It is a power, so it heals four of that lethal. Oh, that's There's helpful. Still a gunshot that went off in a in a city right. in a, that hit a hotel. So the right. police are being called. Right. Yes. Yeah. Like, we do we need to go. leave. But hang on. <laughs> Puppy kisses are more important. Okay, there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah sure. the thing is, you can be healed by that. Yep. Uh, that will only work once per chapter per person. So right. that means you'll have to you'll have to lethal for at least the rest of this chapter. Okay, right. hold on one second. I, I don't want to be slopping around inside of a bag while we're doing this um and let's let's make their lives difficult what do you say i kick out a eye stock 
and look directly at, uh, uh, forgive me, I'm terrible with names. Yamanaka. Yamanaka. And pour out of the sink is Yamanaka, if I can. That's uh, there creepy, is a but useful. Piece to that. Let's, uh, looking at too many characters at the same time here. <laughs> looking at the person you're imitating instead of the person that you are, it's not going to help. Uh, that is a so that so that costs so a willpower to do. Excellent. Just just as a heads up. So okay. All right. So everyone is evacuating the hotel with your bleeding companion and your identical not bleeding companion. How are you? Uh, how are you arranging this so it doesn't cause any further alarm beyond what is already going to happen in the hotel? Um, how's everyone's night vision? Uh, normal. I ate a lot of carrots as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was the question? How's everyone's night vision? Not great. Well, can um, you get out of the building with it? If you can make it dark, that'd be dope. I can try to act as a distraction so that the person who's actually injured can get out of here more safely. If that sounds workable to y'all, and I reach over and um, as gently as I can slap you where you got shot, grab some of the blood and rub it on the same part of me. <laughs> as gently as I can slap your injuries and make the words. <laughs> Ow! Okay, we, we haven't tested whether it's infectious through blood, so... Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was just... Oh, mutants. <laughs> All right, so where are we meeting up? Because we're kind of scattering here. Uh, I mean, I will be easy to find. I will be at the closest, um, like, teen... Uh, uh, oh my gosh, um, like youth center shelter type place. Cool. Okay. I guess we will meet near there, near one of those then. Sounds good. And I will pop storm color for the poor light tilt. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, out of curiosity, Alicia, are you when you're doing a being a distraction? Are you just going with the flow? Are you going out a different direction? Are you waving at the window and taking um, attracting attention of whatever shot? So what my plan to do is is to um, like try to once we're outside of the room, I, mm -hmm. I want to stumble out a different way that they're stuff that they're going. Okay, you know okay. what I mean. So that, that way, hopefully. Hopefully, I can get out faster because I assume he's helping her because she's wounded. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so my hope is to be able to run out that door and make a scene on the way out. You know, I would assume a woman running down the, the hallway and or street uh, screaming with blood on her would catch some attention. Is my hope? Yeah, it's uh, so, quite likely that it would. Yeah, that's that's my aim is to provide enough of a distraction that the rest of them can slip out relatively unnoticed. okay um let's do a um we're gonna do some wits plus stealth that's shadowing we're not shadowing but like disappearing into a crowd hold on let me make sure of that it's been a while Did I just search for <laughs> what? I'm not searching for realms, I promise. Or require or resonance. <laughs> That's the one I'm looking for. Thank you. That's a good thing. All right.
Okay, this thing is not searching the way it's supposed to be. All right, we're just going to do what is full stealth. It's been, I'm pretty sure that that is correct. Um, those of you who are bleeding, um, do that at a minus two because you're going to, you're pretty obvious right now. So you want all of us to roll that one? Uh, yes, because you're trying to avoid attention. All right, minus two means remove two dice. Correct. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, I know. There's willpower in this game too. So if you need to, uh, to add some yeah. dice, that's the way of doing uh, it. I, I oh yeah, like glitch. To... Glitch is kind of awful though with that. So be aware of it. Uh, well, I I would like to roll more than one die, so I am spending a willpower. Okay. I also spent a willpower and got Bubkiss on my eight okay. dice. Oh, yay, that's a 10. Oh, well, awesome. Uh, and I'm looking for sixes? Eights and above. Oh, OK, so just one success then. OK. One success for me, too. OK, so the person who is bleeding, the, that kind of the important one in this scenario, does manage to avoid attention. Um, who else had a success? You had how many? I had one success. One success. Okay. Does um, my is there anything I can roll to help them because I'm providing a distraction? Um. Yes. Let me. Like maybe like a manipulation. Uh. Expression. <laughs> yeah, or persuasion even. Yeah. Well, subterfuge with a specialty in mimic. Oh yeah, no, that works great. No, Leo, let's do let's do uh, a uh, a presence plus subterfuge. It's the same as manipulation for you, but uh, presence plus subterfuge, which is a weird combination. But yeah, you're trying to attract attention to yourself rather than right. That's fair. And uh, refresh my memory because it's been a minute since I've done mm -hmm. the Chronicles. The uh, specialty gives me what? One extra die. Okay, cool. I have to re-roll one. I just don't have enough dice. Okay. Um, so one, two. Two successes. Okay. Uh, so those of you who failed, you can take one of the successes um, so that you do manage to get a clean getaway. Um, everyone also give me a uh, wits plus composure at, uh, let's call it a minus two. And am I included in that, everyone? That's everyone, yeah. Okay. Oh. One success again. I am really lucky. <laughs> Two for me. Uh, three. Three. Okay. Um, those of you who got a success on that, um, notice that uh, on the uh, side of the building next to the hotel, uh, there is a person who is just, um, you can like see like little rocket jets from arms and legs as they disappear into the night. Uh, Alpha is going to deviate that direction. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna, I, I should ask a question first because I have my super sniffer. Uh, mm -hmm. Were I to, because I don't necessarily want to follow that scent now, but could I get the scent and then find it later or at least recognize it later? Uh, if you could get up to the side of the building in the right place, you, they may have left enough of a trace. I'm going to say they are... By side of the building, you mean on the outside of the building? The outside of the building. Up, up a few floors. 14 floors. Okay. Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yeah, I'm thinking like around the building. No big deal. And I was like, wait, hang on. I know who this is. They have flight. <laughs> I need to clarify. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, your skin yeah. is pretty good, but... Yeah. Never mind. I'm running. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's a lot of documents that I've got right now. 
All right. So you managed to escape and regroup and uh, making alternate plans for where to stay for the, a few days. And uh, okay, so you said you're gonna find a bridge or something similar. That was, I mean, that was my suggestion in the event that we couldn't yep. think of anything. Just a place yeah. to get out of the rain. Yeah, get out of the rain. Yep. Somewhere it's close enough though that I can reach over and get some of it on me if I need to, because I dry mm. I dry out easy apparently. Yeah, um. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I mean, you would well, mine some river water, right? Right. Like, yeah, it's fine. Oh yeah, we're we're close to the river. I mean, I'm not worried about like what am I, you know, get sick drinking out of it, have something weird happen from the water. <laughs> <laughs> Probably have a slightly cavalier attitude about what I enjoy. Yes, the uh, the, the the goo monster is very concerned about making sure that they have only the, make... the finest spring water, right? Bottled <laughs> water only. <laughs> yeah. My plan had had it come up was to dive into the nearest storm sewer if I needed to to get away anyway. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, you managed to dodge that scenario. That's good. Uh, all right. So you managed to spend a couple days um, under various bridges or other like places around the city that um, where uh, the homeless can get by um you're terrifying enough to explore alpha is, is has her own abilities that would prevent anyone from really messing with you anyway so not too much concern there um all right you are getting a little sort of rank though it's been a couple days since you've had a shower and you're supposed to be meeting with your sister Bless uh you. so thank you uh is yamanaka able to resolve her glitch uh, you've had enough time to sleep, so you've regained all of your willpower. Let me look at your other thing. I believe. Woohoo! the wrong one. Damn, damn it. They, they're not even, they're on the opposite ends of the alphabet. Why do I keep on clicking on the wrong one? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. You do still have, hold on. Okay, let's let's resolve this real quick since we did do some stuff during the scene. Um, all of you have been in that previous scene where working against one, of, one or more of your conviction touchstones. So you can heal one minor instability during that, for that scene. Um, so that will uh, clear your condition, your, your glitch okay. condition. All right, um, and the amount of work that you're putting into to protect your loyal chest zone probably will bear fruit tonight, assuming you don't, I don't know, accidentally bang over the head too hard. But anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, cool. So uh, the rest of you would have noticed that uh, Yamanaka sort of came unglued after being shot, which I suppose, you know, is a normal reaction uh but it does take her longer than normal to sort of get her shit back together unglued in what way right that needs definition in with defiance <laughs> <laughs> well i uh i am looking up the insane tilt right now but my computer is being slow about that okay so mentally unglued not yes nothing physically fell off or anything like that Again, no, same the insane tilt is you go last, but you get plus one to attacks. Yeah, yeah, and the it's the distracted condition in other scenes, so just yes. can't focus on really anything. Have huge penalties to most tasks that require um, attention to detail. So, okay, so she well, so she gets really spacey. Yeah, she gets really spacey. Yeah. Right on. I mean. Again, as much as I can without drawing undue attention to us in the hidey holes that uh, we occupy for the for the time, 
um, mm-hmm. I will probably try to comfort her as much as I can. Like, you know, are you okay? I know that that was a really traumatic thing that you went through, uh, says the blob that's like sitting on your shoulder mm-hmm. talking to you. you know? um, <laughs> if I notice her acting weird, I'll probably try to be Dr. Blob <laughs> trauma specialist. <laughs> I got you a card. It says, sorry, you've been shot. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I'll try to be as helpful as I can with that. I don't know if that makes any difference at all, but you know, I'm, I'm theoretically a nice person. It says here, I've got Mm -hmm. good Samaritan merit. Don't know what that means for sure, but I'm going to try. Yeah. That's um, (laughs) good. Samaritan is primarily about um, protecting, preventing other people, other baselines from, having the same thing happen to them that happened mm. to you. Gotcha, uh, okay. You get bonuses in situations where you're trying to get them to not go along with the conspiracy, which might be useful um, yeah, in the sound, upcoming. It does sound like it'll come in handy, but yeah, so I'm just trying yeah. to be, trying to be as nice and as I can, if I notice anybody's acting disturbed, you know, mm. I get, I get that we all have a rough, uh, rough situation we're coping with. Yep. All right. So, um, first order of business is uh, Operation Get a Shower. Um, we going to go to a shelter and arrange that, or are we stealing another credit card? How are we handling that? Find an empty house and break in. Oh, All there, right. Wait, our I like goes. that idea. All right. Oh All right. yeah, we can. Uh, look up airbnb to find the houses that are empty uh airbnb does not give you the address unless you actually sign up do how small do i like how how small of an area can i get into well you are basically like an octopus you can stretch out as much as is necessary you're not a true liquid you're not going to go down a drain but you can go down a pipe Right, so like I could go under somebody's door, for example, and unlock their door from the inside. If there's a if there's enough of a crack, it's less less likely on an on an external door. Okay. Right, I've got partial phasing, so depending on what the door's been out of, I could just stick oh, yeah. the string. Yeah. What time of year yeah. is what time of year is it? October. It's okay, uh, it's so, fall. So people probably aren't chilling with the window. Well, I don't know. I mean, or I was gonna say if there's like a window open or something like that, maybe. Or just hey, a little, through. a little too cold right now for windows to be open. Frankie just opens doors, though. Yeah, Frankie does just open doors. I, I could do it to a window too, probably because the the glass is lower durability than the latch, probably. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we can find some place that's that appears relatively unoccupied. Yeah. Well, so does that right. work? <laughs> Get a shower. Sorry, we used your soap. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, if all you're doing is getting in there to, to get cleaned up and maybe steal some clothes, that's uh, much less of a much less complicated uh, to find something than, than an empty house. All right, go ahead and give me a uh, who's going to be a primary on this, and who's going to be assisting for which plus larceny. We're just trying to find a house at the moment. I got a five. I have anyone beat me. No, I have zero dots in larceny. No, I mean, like, I, I don't know how helpful I can be aside from, like, having an eye stock sticking out of the bag as we're walking through a neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> Just picturing, like, the, the trash monster from the compactor in Star Wars. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just remember, when you want to talk, use the telepathy. Don't, 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 uh... What are you talking and about? I don't understand why it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. All right, so it looks like I'm primary. Anyone want to try and assist? Uh, with larceny? <laughs> All right. I mean, I, I, can, I, I can try if, if you'll allow me to be helpful. I just don't know how helpful I would be if I'm stuck in a bag. I mean, you could take Frankie's form. Oh, yeah, I suppose Is I it... could do and, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you'll, you'll have a couple. You'll have a, at least another night before you have to. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I as just, long as you get a good night's sleep tonight, I, right? I just need to be conservative with my willpower because it is not my mm. strongest suit. Um, right. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, that's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll get up so I can help and be useful. And then, yes, I have larceny that I can apply. Okay. So, not a great deal, but a little bit. So, do you need me to roll wits larceny, then? Yep. Roll wits larceny. Tell me how many successes you get, and then it will add the to the primaries. Okay. Teamwork actions. Uh, that's a big whopping zero. Okay. Yeah. Is it a botch? Right. It is. No. Not a botch, because he, he had four dice, I think. Four? Yeah, four dice. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll yours. Just the one again. Okay, you managed to find a uh, a house that is unoccupied for and doesn't have any large dogs, as it turns out, long enough to uh, to get cleaned up. That was the failure condition. If you're gonna get a shower. <laughs> we'll just have to deal with a chihuahua first. <laughs> we recruit the chihuahua. No, that, that could be done. That one hundred percent absolutely <laughs> can be done. <laughs> Yeah, I'm right. like a vetoes recruiting the Chihuahua. <laughs> so, uh, quick, quick logistics question: When I assume someone's form, I assume they're clothes as well. Yes. Yeah, I mean they're not functional, so if they like have body armor, you don't get body armor, but they're right. at least look like whatever they're wearing. So I don't necessarily need to worry about like getting fresh clothing or doing no. laundry no. or any of that sort of thing. I just want to make sure. Nope. You are a laundry free existence. Yeah, you're set free from the curse of never ending laundry. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should read this whole. Small blessing. Small blessings. Small blessings, guys. Yep. Small blessings. Yeah. There is no pants mandatory situation for you anymore. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Then I'll probably just hang out near the shower door so I can soak up whatever extra moisture is left behind. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, coffee shop with the sister, or I guess restaurant in any case. Uh, now, is that going to be the next day after we? Yeah, it's uh, the. It's like, Wednesday night. Will I be down the willpower from helping? Oh, you'll, you'll be you'll be healed by then. It'll okay. be fine. Cool. Yeah, it'll be. It'll have been. I'm not gonna send a bunch of goons after you with you know half an hour remaining in this session <laughs> i thought you meant with one willpower down i'm like oh he just told us we're about to get a bunch of goons <laughs> no that'll be next session yeah, that's <laughs> um, i am renowned for uh i have a really bad poker face and so i just always act like i'm up to something even when i'm not and sometimes that disconcerts people who don't know <laughs> my players it's, know better. It, it's a good tact Yep. Why are you rolling those dice? Don't don't worry. Yeah. I doesn't just help like that my, rolling. Doesn't help that my second ever game was paranoia. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's one of my favorites. Anyway. Oh yeah. It's, it has all sorts of actually really useful advice um, if you just want to keep people on their toes. But anyway. So uh, um, Matsuho is meeting you for dinner. She's, I'm sorry. Your sister is meeting you for dinner. Yes. So yes. I assume the rest of us are just kind of stalking nearby. Uh, so my plan and have dinner with my sister and do like catch up. How's college? Are you staying? Anyone? Mm -hmm. And then at the end of it, be like, I want you to meet some friends of mine. Probably shouldn't do it here. <laughs> Sounds like an opening to a mob introduction. <laughs> <laughs> How do you want to be your own boss? <laughs> New <laughs> family. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Um, go ahead and give me a... Um, Do uh, presence plus uh, persuasion. Okay. Ooh, and I have a specialty in asking favors, and so that is how I will frame it. Ah. Do me a favor, don't do this. 
or, or do me a favor and come with me. We're gonna go do something. Yes, uh, do me a quick favor, come meet my friends. We uh, have important things to tell you. Oh, and that is a wash. Oh no, all right. I rolled a one and a nine. Yikes. Oh, a nine. Oh, no, yeah. no, no. They don't one subtract. Don't subtract. Yeah, oh. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I've, been, I've been playing World of Darkness-ish games for a long time, and we've like, we're have like we currently playing an Exalted 3rd Ed game. That, that gets confusing mm -hmm. when you're also playing a Chronicles of Darkness game. Right. The okay. dice system is completely different. Yeah, completely I'm, I'm playing Just, a very... Yeah. I'm okay. playing a very so, yeah. bonkers World of Darkness. Yeah, uh, so one success. Okay. All right. So she... Seems a little weirded out by this request, but you are very convincing um, when you need to be. And um, you managed to get her to go to the isolated, um, abandoned building or whatever that you have hidden your friends in for the moment um, and convince her that it's OK to go in there uh, and meet your friends and their wolf. Just come into this dark room where nobody can see. Yeah, that's no, fine. <laughs> No, don't pay any attention to that person right. that's oozing down the wall over there. It's just it's normal. That's, that's not black mold. That's, oh. that's just one of our friends. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, don't step on my friend. Uh, so, yeah, so Yamanaka will walk in with someone who looks kind of like her uh, mm -hmm. and she'll be like, all right, everyone, Matsuho, Matsuho, everyone. Were we still going with the tell her the truth plan? Yes, yes we are. Did your bag um, just talk? I'll unzip the bag and just technically the person inside the bag talk. Kind so, of. I'll look, do the, um, I can create a kind of a face on a stalk, sort of. <laughs> that just kind of goes up through the hole. So there, there are some very bad people in the world who have done some very awful things and they will continue to do awful things and they are having a symposium that you are supposed to be at and we're going to kill them and I don't want you to be in the crossfire <laughs> okay wow you um, really weren't kidding about just <laughs> the telling the truth <laughs> just rip the bandaid I guess yep do you want to tell me more about what's going on where you're starting to talk about killing people? Uh, yeah, I, I guess we should unzip the bag. I unzipped um, and stuck my head up. Yeah, yeah. My, there's, al there's already some pseudo pot ish sort of. Oh, she, like she she, she made she made her breaking point. You've seen the abyss, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's that's kind of the look I've got going on right now. Is the the thing from the abyss? Um. Hi. Uh, so, I'm Alicia. It's it's nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, explain. Okay, so this one of these scientists that's at that thing did a terrible thing to me, and it made me like this. And they did terrible things to the other people that are, are here too. I hope you don't mind me just telling your business. Sorry. Um, and so we really have to stop that from happening to other people. And I'm sure you understand and are in no way associated with doing those kinds of things to people, right? Because that would be really bad. Those assholes got me struck by lightning. What, made you get struck by lightning? Yep. <laughs> Fucking hurt! <laughs> See, I'll, I'll, bet. Bet. I'll bet. Yeah, you ever seen uh, The Great Outdoors? It was kind of like that. Oh, okay. I, 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 don't, I don't think that she has, but I know I haven't, <laughs> so I really don't have any point of reference. Um, uh, I had a really bad date, and now I've got this guy in my head. Oh. I was fucking giggling about it the whole time. Is it like the thing in the bag in your head? Is something going to come out your ear? Uh, yes, pretty much, exactly like that. I can't go in people's ears, I don't think. <laughs> To be I'm fair, I don't think we've actually tried. I'm not interested in trying. That's fair. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so 
I, I mean, I'm supposed to be there. It's like, you know. Oh, you will still be there and you will still get credit. Uh, Alicia, do your thing. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably going to be unsettling. I pour okay. out of the bag and pour and like pour up into her form, basically. Okay, still still holding on pretty well, considering. Okay. <laughs> so, you look like Alicia. Me. Yes, I do. Sound like you too, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I always thought I sounded weird when I hear my own voice, but I think that's pretty much everybody. That's because yeah. of where your vocal cords are in relation to your eardrums. Yeah, it's something of that nature, but yeah. Um, okay, so your plan is to is to dress up dress up like me and kill people? This isn't how I'm dressed. Well, this is how my flesh has mutated <laughs> and formed because of what those assholes did to me. <laughs> Okay. Let 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 me uh, so, clarify a, a quick thing. Just just so we're, we're, we're clear. not we're not yeah. blaming you for murder. It's just that Alicia can look like you, so you still get credit for being there. Okay. Um, and we I, don't want them to think you are with us. Okay. I, I guess that sort of makes sense. So do you need me Even to... Even though someone did try and shoot me the other day, so... They didn't try. I mean... They did. <laughs> they, it, was a, it was a really good try in that it's successful. I mean, it's healed by now, but yes, it's uh, that, that was a little painful. And let's be very, very clear about these people. They have done terrible things, but they are also bad people. The people that made me, and I was born this way, are flat out white supremacists. Oh yeah, oh, you got I didn't know that, but that now way. I hate them more on principle. Thank you. Yes, like flat out, we could just go. Like, oh yeah, we don't want to be them. associated with any of it's, these people. It's yeah. Nazis all the way down. There's really like they're they're they are absolutely like guilt free. You know, you're just doing the world a favor. <laughs> like no... I said, they laughed the whole time, and then I got struck by lightning. I'm a puddle that has to look like other people if I want to look like people. <laughs> yeah, this is that's pretty terrible. You said that they're going to do this to people. Uh, they yeah. doing it to people. They, I've gonna... done, will do, are doing. And from I mean, the sound of it, you're signed up to give a presentation to these. What kind of work are you doing at school? Well, it's just, you know, part of a part of a credit. And it's supposed to be like a, my uh, my advisor, you know, thought that this would be a good a good group to get to know. Who's your advisor? She gives a professor's name that is not on my list. Okay. okay. <laughs> not on our list. Most importantly, not on our not, list. Not, not list. anyway. <laughs> Give it time. Yeah, because I mean that's that's the thing. Like, not only is this a threat to other people, but there's a very real concern here that the people that you're falling into, you know, falling in with, might be some of these too. And mm. you know, I'm. And they're definitely trying to get other people in on their bullshit. That's yeah, why say, they're doing this. Right. They they want to they want to recruit others, and uh, I I can't. Th this is me not remembering, but I believe somebody here was part of that group and got swept into it. Oh, Daigo, I think. Yeah, uh, Daigo's yeah. the guy in my head that I right. can't get rid of ever. Well, if you want to have some idea of what my angle is, hey, 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 put me on, 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 put me on. All right. I I will attempt to psychically connect with Matsuho. 
Okay, she's not going to resist in this particular case, although she's pretty weirded out by this. Okay, so right. just so you know, I really, 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 really hate the Manifest Destiny Society. I'm pretty All sure right. they're the ones that uh, were hired to- Calm down. <laughs> Matsuho, meet Daigo. Daigo, oh. meet Matsuho. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I guess new, new person. Hi there. Um, I'm, I'm sorry I kind of took over your sister's body a little bit. Um, oh, that dude's in your bad head. Situations. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm not like a little, <laughs> just to be clear, I'm not a little man in her head. I, I'm a disembodied consciousness. There was complications. That makes, makes it way less weird. Just... Okay. <laughs> but, so. Uh, what did you think he was? I don't know, like Overwatch or something. I thought maybe like he was like calling long distance. I... I'm not I'm sorry. Lie. I'm not a hundred percent convinced he's real. <laughs> he's well, he's real. If you yeah, hear him, please continue. I hear it's him. It's the weirdest. <laughs> this is the weirdest ventriloquist act ever. All <laughs> <laughs> past become ventriloquists. They make up alternate personalities and pretend that they're talking. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the the person who tried to. Kill, kill us and burn down my house, your house, our house, the house. Um, I'm pretty sure they hired her to do that. And Lisa Gottfried, I want her dead before she can has a chance to pass on her mental health to someone else. And I want to leave uh, the Manifest Destiny's uh, Society's first progenitor in the last 50 years in such disrepute and disgrace that the conspiracy permanently loses the capability to produce new devoted. So yeah, I really, really don't like these people. But yeah, I was part of one of the conspiracies once too. But that's all water under the bridge now. Totally don't want to be involved in this whole web of pain ever again. Uh, so okay, basically, back. we're we're destroying Hydra, is what we're doing. Uh, your sister's like, oh, okay. I, I guess that makes sense. She, she is actually convinced, but like, it's also a very weird thing to have to admit to in, in real life. Right. <laughs> so um, this is in a couple days. Do you, you're, you said you're just in town for a little while. Do you have, and your house was burned down? Do you have a way up north? Uh, I, I was just going to rely on alpha sweet talking people. Well, I think I can find a friend who has a van that you can borrow. That would be extremely Fans helpful. Are good. How long can you pretend to be me? Not terribly. Um, so you, you're you going to need me to come with you at least to as far as Duluth? Yeah, I'm going to need you. Uh, if you're willing to be helpful, I'm probably going to need you right up to the time when I'm supposed to go in there and give this presentation. Okay. Yeah, you could actually help us on some things, because you none know, of us are scientists. You also could probably help. I assume, is, is there, do you know what time you're scheduled? Like, is there other stuff going on before you're supposed to talk? Yes, I can give, I'm not really talking, I'm just like, like, well, I was supposed to administer the injection. Administer what? the what? <laughs> The injection. Go on, please. Uh, who who is an getting injection. injected? Who is getting a, injected with what? A volunteer. He's some like Iraq special forces guy who is oh. friends with our staff, one of the security volunteer. Guards. Then no, yeah, it could be literal volunteer. Could be devoted. He could be a volunteer, and if uh, if he's an Iraq vet, he probably is used to being treated. Like he's expendable. Right. Volunteer. Right. right. Yeah, I don't. I mean, to go matter. back to the MCU illusions, they probably told him he's going to become the next Captain America. I doesn't matter to me if he's willing or not. What matters is that that's not going to happen. But also, do you have plans before that? Is there something you're supposed to be doing before that? Well, just uh, kind of helping out with the. Uh, I don't know, just for hobnobbing at the at the cocktail gathering. Okay, maybe you should still hobnob. Okay. And see that, what you can find out about all this stuff. Yeah, find out what's in that injection. 
Oh, can, right. you ride, can you and your passenger ride around in her brain while she's knobbing the hobs? I will need to be in the building. Hey, there's a uh, there's a, a a specific effect for not effect for like power but like, but there's a way that this was handled in game. So let's go to the cocktail party. Each of you choose one of your touchstones to play a out of scene at the cocktail party. Oh. That is interesting. Uh, I I can play Dr. Brian Davis. Indeed. I guess I am Dr. Stephen Summer. One second. Um, and I can pick any of these. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Um, I guess I would just do. If we know Strock's going to be there, I'll play Strock. That's fine. Okay. Yes, and go with Slane, George Slane. Yeah, I'm saying. Uh, oh, Dr. George Slane, okay. And I will play uh, Dr. Gottfried. Who is mostly mingling. Because, um, and this was not clear from, uh, from the stuff that you've gotten in character previously, uh, the Manifest Destinies Foundation or Society is the is the organization that is hosting this oh boy <laughs> okay all right and these are all members of that no but uh, a lot of these are progenitors who are being let's say talent uh shopped they're being right. recruited courted yeah maybe not recruited yet but like you know the whole it's a conspiracy, an ally, a, a neighboring conspiracy, a fellow conspiracy, maybe they'll be convinced to come work for us instead. Gotcha. Because the issue that the Manifest Destiny Society has always had is that none of them is a progenitor, except for Lisa Gottfried, who never tells anyone how she does her work and has been around forever. She's like in her 70s. Gotcha, okay. Okay. Well, I hope all of you are having a good time. Looking forward to your presentations, Doctors Strock and Summer tomorrow. Looking forward to sharing. Definitely. And you say that uh, your previous subjects. Uh, what would you tell us a little bit about your about your previous uh, successes? Just so I have a little context. Well, there are, it's a little difficult to uh, break down specifically. Um, there was one experiment that's particularly of note uh, where we made some rather impressive leaps in overcoming the limitations of uh, human anatomy and its static nature, you could say. That sounds right up my alley. I'd prefer to leave them in a humanoid form, but it can be 
I'm open to any progress that gets us to a more perfected understanding. The humanoid form is uh, attainable and uh, can easily be referenced by the subjects of my work, but it is a mere one option among many. But I certainly don't want to hog the spotlight. Well, uh, Dr. Brian Davis will say, uh, <clears throat> me and a former colleague perfected the technique of embedding consciousness in different bodies. Very impressive. Is the consciousness in control or is it uh, secondary? We are working on the initial consciousness being in control. Yes, because that sounds like a, a recipe for immortality, which I will admit has some appeal, uh, being up in age. It would be nice to have a, a younger and healthier body again. Certainly. Perhaps we could uh, come to some sort of information sharing arrangement later on. Perhaps. I'll have to see your uh, the full the full research notes. Definitely. As for Dr. Summer and hopefully my ah! Ah! Dr. Bad timing. <laughs> So patiently waiting, and then just oh, the internet. Oh, hang on, maybe I'm back now. There we go. Uh, but yes, uh, Doctor. So to 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 paraphrase quickly, <laughs> um, is is very. I think he's very straightforward. Like I have perfected humanity, um, and while the first subject got a little out of hand, um, you know, we now have a better understanding of how to, you know, perfect the human condition, increase, uh, you know, attributes at will, um, at birth. Um, so there's no uh, uh, malformations, no ugliness, you know, has- Purity. Been. Yes. Oh, a very great interest to me. Mm -hmm. How have you uh, have you been able to successfully deal with your um, your your renegade perfect human yet? We're tracking. Okay. Uh, for for my part, I just make sure that the uh, that the heater is turned up at all my facilities takes care of any sort of concerns or problem. Hmm. Are your subjects particularly vulnerable to heat? They dry out. The one, oh. that, the one that's gotten away does. Less okay. of a concern with some of the more uh, recent work. It is frustrating when they escape. Yeah, well, you make an omelet. Yep, indeed. Dr. Struck, you're quiet. You were, uh, you should feel comfortable in this society. This is, these are our people. We had a success in using human as a means of storing electricity. I confess the subject was a bit, chosen a bit on a lark. I think we can do better. It is important to screen your subjects to make sure that they are suitable vessels for the power that you're giving them, both in the sense that the power will actually transmit successfully and produce the, the sort of 
result that you desire, but also to make sure that you're choosing subjects that are in line with, uh, with the best of humanity. It can be difficult to get applicable subjects at all. Uh, I guess it is a little harder in the Midwest than it is in, uh, in the university setting. We work with what we can. Well, uh, the um, subject for the demonstration, uh, Idris is eager to eager to participate in the experiment. Um, I, we've uh, had some assistance from his friend Isaac, um, who went was in uh, uh, was in the a combat zone with him. They're very they're old friends, um, so that. Sort of relationship works well to uh, to do that. Um, we figured that he was um, he seemed to be a good test subject for this particular experiment. Uh, already on the loyal side, on the on the submissive side, um, a, capable of taking orders, uh, but having that enhanced would be uh, would be nice. And we, we wish you both much success uh, at the demonstration tomorrow. Look forward to seeing it. And that is where we'll close down for the week. Excellent. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. I, yeah. a ton of fun. Yes, I'm very curious about this. Mm -hmm. uh, got, got some lovely bouncing off of each other here. Yeah. I, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, playing this out a bit, I think it's going to be a good time. Mm. Yep. Well, we d I didn't, and I'll I'll admit that uh, in my own table group, um, we're kind of notorious for not tracking beats very well. So I'm, I'm so bad at like remembering to <laughs> give them out, even though the like game is designed to like eat them, like, sure. use them really well for, for powers. Um, but the being a one shot, um, uh, it's a little less vital. But or you no know, one shot, I guess two shot. Um, but uh, I know that we had um, twi uh, Twitch <laughs> glitch came into play uh, a, l a little bit. Yes, it was fun, mm -hmm. and it certainly like it, it makes it so that it's hard to where you have to think really hard about spending willpower on things. Um, so it kind of restricts you even in that way. Um, the uh, just go through these here. I'm going to have to take a step away. One second. Sure. Um, didn't get to do too much of that. Didn't outright take over your body. Didn't need to. You were so submissive. <laughs> 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 you know, that's what you do when you have a uh, have a, a, an exposition character in your brain. And there'll be opportunity next time, I'm sure. Once the his goals and yours diverge at some point. Right now, he needs you as much as you need him. He seems so trustworthy, though. Mm -hmm. I know. Clearly has no desire to be part of the Web of Pain ever again. Um, would never, you know, be interested in stealing the secret serum and, um, you know, using it for his own good, for his own benefit. Uh, I didn't have to deal with those for Alpha. as it would be to have pepper on the side of a building <laughs> uh, and uh, tribulation did come into play you ended up having to spend some willpower for that like twice i think uh, but and honestly like just having that you know being a, a goo in a bag is its own issue Okay, it definitely took some creativity to deal with that one. Yeah, it was fun. That's a lot of fun. Um, I, I really dig the, um, I, just, I just dig the idea of being, you know, a human in a puddle. Mm. Yeah, you seem like you were really digging that character. I like Yeah. That. So coming from the D&D uh, &D background, I love oozes. So being <laughs> able to play <laughs> was kind of neat. Okay. 
Um, so that was kind of cool. Just need to pick up an acid variation. Right, there you go. Cool. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, I'm not sure how you guys usually wrap these up. Um, uh, generally, we just do like a quick, uh, just a quick who you are, what you do, going round robin around the table. Um, and since you're the uh, guest of honor, we'll have you go uh, last, Eric, actually, and then you can talk mm -hmm. a little bit about what you got cooking. So why don't we start with Drew? Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do when you're not on this one shot? Cool. Um, uh, usually when my internet is working, uh, uh, you can find me on... Uh... The Cult is Synonymous, here Friday nights <laughs> <laughs> at 7 p.m. Uh, EDT, uh, which is the Mage of the Awakening uh, stream. I wonder if he can hear me. Um, it's an amazing stream. I absolutely love Drew's work on it. It's one of my favorite shows on the channel. Um, so hopefully he can hear me. And he's very, very happy with what I just said about what he does. And uh, steering into me, I'm Travis Legg. I'm the Scarred Lands Line developer. I uh, also am the program director here on Twitch. So I do all the coordinating, uh, figuring out who's going on when. Um, when I'm not doing that, I have stuff I run over on my channel as well, Plastic Age Plays. So if you head over there and uh, give a like, follow, subscribe, all that fun stuff too, that mm -hmm. would greatly appreciate it. You get to see twice as much of me as normal. Uh, next up, uh, why don't we go ahead and have Rachel tell us who you are, what you do, and where we can find you online. Uh, hello, my name is Rachel. I'm a game writer, game editor. I do things with words and games in Los Angeles. Uh, I've done some work for Storytellers Vault. Uh, I've got a kit book, a city book up there, along with some other things. Uh, I've done some editing for By Night Studio. Uh, yeah, and I am also in one of Travis's shows on his personal channel, Extreme Drowless. It's a lot of fun. I'm playing a paladin, a uh, drow paladin. Not necessarily a well. We, we have a tense relationship right now. You're, uh, you're like, I don't know, evil adjacent, maybe. I don't know. You're, you're, you're <laughs> kind of good, sometimes. I mean, I'm, I'm very pro drow people, and I don't necessarily think that means we should continue to worship well. That's fair. That's, that's a fair assessment. <laughs> um, and then, uh, Jeremy, where can we find you, and what do you do, and? Uh, uh, I'm on Jeremy, and I was. Uh, I'm part of Athens, Ohio, the Scion stream, which is currently on hiatus, but you can find the replays on YouTube via official Linux Path channel. Uh, I'm technically findable on the internet, but it's hard. <laughs> Beautiful, love it. And sure. then uh, last up, our uh, storyteller for the day, Eric, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, who you are, what you do, and what brings you here today? I'm Eric Zawatsky. I'm uh, the co-developer on Deviant Renegades, which is in Kickstarter right now. We're uh, about 500 away from our next stretch goal, and those will get some more announcements on stretch goals. I was joking on the Pathcast that uh, I feel like I'm running a telephone sometimes because I'm like, hey, I want to write more stuff for you guys. Can you please like tell your friends? Um, so yes, please tell your friends. Operators are standing by. Um, I can be found uh, on the forums, and right now I've been doing a lot of commenting and responding to comments on the Kickstarter, um, on the main uh, uh, Onyx Path forums. Uh, I've discovered Discord yesterday. That's a deep well. Um, <laughs> it is one of those, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm uh, also on Twitter at uh, foremanspress.com. That's F O U R. Uh, <laughs> Uh, although, like, uh, don't have as much to say about writing on that one. Uh, there are other other events in the world that, that tend to come out in that one. But uh, if you want to talk to me about gaming, come to come see me on the forums. I'm I'm pretty uh, pretty. I'm an, I'm an extroverted creative type, which means that any time that I'm not talking, any time I'm talking to you, I want to be writing, and any time I'm writing, I want to be talking to you. So <laughs> that's the way it goes. Awesome. So thanks. Thank you. And uh, Drew, now that you're back and have sound theoretically, uh, where are the two places that people should be looking for information about Occultus Anonymous? 
Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, youtube.com slash Occultus Anonymous. Uh, it's a long one, sorry, I apologize. Uh, but then also if you want to see our Patreon, which is where everything gets posted anyways and we post all the extra stuff, that's patreon.com slash Occultus Anonymous. But then... That's really long and hard to say, so you can just say uh, join the Stay Lucky Club, which is uh, staylucky.club. I hope I got that right, Drew. Let me know. Because you froze again. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you can uh-huh. go to uh, staylucky.club and check out their Patreon. And you can go to uh, uh, yeetinto.space. We'll bring you, I believe, here for the channel. Is that yeah, that, that, that'll, that'll, that'll take you straight to the, the Onyx Path. Uh, <laughs> Onyx Path site, yeah. <laughs> or the Onyx Path Twitch channel. So yes, spread that around. I, I, I think our community would be quite pleased to know that uh, that one is going to spread out. Uh, yes, that is because our Abrimos likes to throw people, well, likes to threaten to throw people into space. Because when is, you can control gravity, you know. Yeah, so, sure. Something you can do when you're playing Mage of the Awakening. Um, yeah. Theoretically. <laughs> if Paradox <laughs> doesn't eat your face off. Um, but thank you all so much. Uh, we have run a few minutes over, but stick around on the channel because as soon as we are off, uh, D5 Blood City Chicago by Night is on. Uh, and it is a beautiful, wonderful exploration of uh, Chicago by Night. I highly recommend you hang out. If you have not yet done so, please follow, like, all that good stuff. Uh, subscribe if you can. If you are an Amazon Prime user, you get one free sub a month. We would love to be your free sub. And on that note, we are going to hop off here and hand the reins over to uh, V5. So just give us one moment. We will see you all soon. Thanks. Bye, folks. Bye. Stay lucky.